Hello and welcome to the second pilot episode of Broodstar. This is a special run that I want to show you because I was able to make it number 3 on the leaderboards. It's a partial run, I started recording when I saw that I had a fantastic run and a great chance to improve my score. Let's check it out. I'm gonna start in the shop and I just bought Fire Raid twice. And I decided to record because I had the feeling I was going to have my best run yet. You're about to see why. But look at that. So I have uh, the lasers and this semi-circle type of thing. I forgot how it's called. Usually I hate this thing, but I do have uh, the bullets bouncing off the walls and the top and I just absolutely melt everything. If you notice on the bottom corner I was back on number 6. What happened is I had just recorded the end of my previous run because uh, it seemed like I was gonna make it back on the leaderboard because I got kicked out and um, once I finished I bought a few upgrades, I think I had 10 points, I'll show you at the end of the video. I bought a few upgrades and I wanted to just test it out and I started with, uh, now I start with triple shot and uh, plasma. And uh, that's this run. And ended up getting uh, the laser and a bunch of damage and all sorts of things. And I realized, well, I think I'm gonna do an even better score so let's record so this is a partial run of course but uh, the beginning uh, it's no big deal if you don't see it I just wanted to share this with you this is still a pilot episode the first episode unfortunately didn't do so great it's not the end of the world something like 20 views no sub no nothing um, I think even my uh, beat stickman videos uh, did better but this is a new game still small player base and uh, maybe I'll make a video once in a while it's not uh, that big of a deal it's more uh, for series that are very long there's another game I'm going to present today that has the potential of uh, many many episodes and that I need a lot of, of views and subs and a clear interest uh, but for this if I do only a few episodes it's no big deal and I, and I really wanted to uh, give you uh, the very few viewers it doesn't matter how many people even if there's only a few people watching a, a run on hard difficulty and uh, show that uh, I was once top three because I know I will be uh, kicked out eventually there's gonna be more and more players and uh, some of them are insanely good Although with a build like this, you don't need, you don't need much skill, let's be frank. And it's going to get even crazier. So let's look at the shop, I don't really remember. So here, uh, damage plus, shot speed, I don't remember what I bought. I just did this run by the way. Uh, and I checked, just before recording this, I checked if I was still top 3 and uh, I, I still am. That's why I'm in a hurry to make these videos. So I bought this. And uh, Winter Warfare, I, I never had it before, so I bought it and it gave me an achievement. It seems like it slows m mobs down, something like that. But I thought it was a uh, activation item. I tested it and see I have this, this is not a good item, it's the one that uh, you stay in place and you shoot a bunch of bullets. I'll have a chance to replace it later, I said I must avoid triangle. Is because I, I'm going to end up dying, I do not have any extra lives. Uh, anyways, uh, so that's another achievement. I, I, don't, I only have five more achievements to, to do to ace the game. So, yeah, I, um, I want to talk about uh, farming. Uh, yeah. I said, okay, I'm gonna do only runs on hard. Previous video, right? I said that, and that was true. I did, but um, if you, you know, when 
when I started uh, playing on hard, I quickly had a win with almost no upgrades. Because of RNG, I was lucky I got a good build, whatever. And uh, no, I played okay, I guess. I, I, I have their. Uh, I have the game, but I don't think I'll, I'll publish it, but anyways, after that though, uh, it was kind of difficult because if you don't get anything, you, you do zero DPS, there would be bosses that would take minutes to kill, and uh, I didn't make that many points, I think I made about four points for a run, uh, if I don't, uh, if I didn't finish uh, the whole game on hard, right? Did that for a while. Then uh, after getting a bunch of upgrades on the right side, which is support, I'll show you again, once again, I'll show it to you at the end of the video. I said, let's try on medium. And now that I'm so much uh, stronger, let's see how much I destroy medium and see how, much, how many points I get. And on medium, when I farm medium, I clear the game every time and, uh, and I get eight or nine points a pop. I get. I think I got seven points once, but it's almost double. Look at this boss die very quickly. Uh, so he's already dead. <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy. My burst pattern. Uh, at first, I said I regretted, but I guess it works. I still have difficulties uh, with uh, the patterns, but look at that. There's a damage plus, damage plus. Let's take that to compensate. I make way more money now, and eh? that's why I invested in support first. Now I'm investing more into uh, raw damage. Okay. So my record, uh, 288,000. I'm at 163,000 and there's still enough uh, room for improvement. I was convinced I was gonna beat my record. And I'll beat it quite, uh, quite seriously. So, uh, yes, so I didn't try easy and I'm, I'm not even sure what the parameters are for uh, the skill points you get because it if I did two four runs on medium in a row, I would get say nine points, then eight points. So I'm not certain. Uh, I, I didn't try it on easy, but uh, I would recommend at least if you want to farm farm on medium. Uh, but I'll test easy to see if it uh, if it's better. But I doubt it to be frank. Uh, maybe it's. My theory is it's just based on how many levels we cleared, and over time it probably there's probably a hidden XP system or whatever, and you get less and less points over time. But I'm not certain. Anyways, my goal is to fill out the whole skill tree, and I feel uh, like I'm going to be uh, we're all going to be going to be godlike once our skill trees are filled out, and they may need to add a difficulty level. I was uh, satisfied with the, the hard difficulty level uh, at the beginning. It was pretty challenging. You really needed to get good items or be, have ridiculous skills and have a two minutes or three minute fight per boss or something uh, to clear it. But now, uh, look at this thing. Uh, I'm absolutely melting everything and uh, this requires no skill. You just hold X and you, you move on and this is on the hard. So if I was the developers, having in mind uh, that the uh, everybody who's uh, playing enough and it doesn't take that long will have full skill trees, I would add a nightmare difficulty and of course an endless mode like I mentioned in the previous. So this boss usually I find him very difficult, in fact I think this is the most difficult boss but look he's already dead. I find him difficult because he makes these electricity walls and shoots lasers at the same time. So if you have no DPS, but if you're all pathetic uh, like I was at the beginning uh, of my uh, farming on hard, I have so much difficulty with this boss. But my, my DPS is so insane 
that anything I see they die so if if the boss is dead he cannot hurt you can he but yeah this boss that you just saw to me is the hardest in the game so I can buy anything too with the I maxed out the money you can make with the support part of the skill tree and uh, I'm always kind of kind of rich. It's rare that I cannot buy an item I want. So I believe this is the second last level of the game. It is, in fact. Uh, what's that? Break two. Oh, I wanted to take it. Yeah, okay. I took. I think there's one I accidentally hit X, but th at this point, nothing matters. I just going to win frankly uh, oh I also have this thing now that if I take fuel cells it recharges my shield and my shield cells recharges my fuel so strong uh, I'll show you where I am on the on the tree after that I think it's the third time I see that <laughs> sorry okay I hope this game uh, gains uh, some traction. It certainly deserves uh, a good player base. It's a good game. They're going to add stuff. I like it quite a lot. I may have to stop though once I finish the whole skill tree and I'll wait for new things to come in the game. Like the challenges for instance, I'm really curious about that. I remember in the video also uh, where I made a mistake about the leaderboards. I corrected this in the comments on the first video where I said, that, "Oh, there's no global leaderboards," and I I may I ask a silly question on Discord, and, and the I think it's the dev the dev one. I don't know if it's a team. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a team or just one person, but uh, he said, "Did you check into options?" <laughs> uh, very politely, but I said, "Oh no." It's right there. So if uh, by for some by some chance you see only yourself and you like me and you like where's the leaderboard? Because I was seeing uh, screenshots with leaderboards. You gotta go in options to choose it. I felt a bit embarrassed. Same boss again. I'm gonna repeat the same thing. That I don't think they should have twice the same boss in the same run. They should uh, not do that. That's my opinion. But you know, it's not a huge deal. Let's see what I get. Oh, uh, Volkill Muzzle is very strong. Guaranteed I'm buying it. Dual Scatter. Yeah, and uh, Vulcan Muzzle is very, very strong. You're exploding fireballs and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Okay. Time for last level. I'm already at my best score. <laughs> Look at that. There's so many lasers. <laughs> it's so powerful. So now I was uh, wondering, will I beat Blaze? And I, I thought it was pretty likely because I'm at the beginning of the level, I'm at 341. And the score to beat is 377. I knew I would not be number two, but I was really hoping for number three. And again, I know it's temporary. By the time you watch this, I may not be even on the leaderboards anymore. But I can have my moment of glory and say I was number three on Bootstar at one point when the game just came out. <laughs> but also, once I get all the 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 upgrades on the skill tree like everybody else I'll do better scores too but we'll compete on it on, a, on an even field and now it, it will all depend on the seed and RNG but in reality most of the games that I'm under the impression will be so strong we'll be able to kill every single mob there is I think that 
I think that like right now I'm killing absolutely everything that is on screen so if you get quickly the right weapons from the very beginning there's not one mob that will survive you maximize your score and your score will depend on the seed so that's a hypothesis that I have we'll see here's the boss I don't think he's gonna survive for very long look at him go down look at the bar he's dead that's it so we'll uh, you're gonna see me attribute points then I'll cut and I'll go over just with, with my mouse with, for the names of the upgrades just uh, to simplify things, you could look it up yourself, I guess, but I'll move my, my mouse over every little dot. So you see those dots, so I'll go over the dots. So uh, this, I assume, purple would be the laser. I would start with a laser, and I'm, I'm not sure yet because I didn't play any game after that. And right now I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna get next. And I'm not really sure because everything I really wanted, I already have it. When you hit triangle, you can try to uh, uh, understand what they, they mean for each item. That was another question I asked on Discord. I'm gonna go with explosive shots. Uh, I don't remember what I got in there. No, not this one. Yeah, I think I was interested in something in defense. Reduce collision damage, maxed out. So when I hit something, I'm gonna get damage less. That's pretty good. Oh, invincibility duration, guaranteed. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, and now I'm going to just uh, hit start to show that I'm number three. There we go. And that's the end of the footage. And let's go in the, the tree in more detail and it will be it for the video. So that's just after my successful run where I was ranked number 6 on the leaderboards. I'm just moving my mouse over each and you can check it out on your own. I do my own strategy, I don't know what's the most optimal. Frankly I don't think it matters much because uh, you get enough points that if you make a mistake, you'll uh, you'll be able to buy the right thing. You'll end up buying the right things, but I'm sure there's a optimal path. But uh, it's no big deal. Now I have seven points, but we're looking in the past, right? So that's before the run that I just showed you, and I'm buying very quickly the things I wanted, like uh, double and triple. Um, the triple uh, shot as soon as you start and of course instead of having the basic weapon now it's the plasma this concludes the second pilot episode of Broodstar I may or may not make future episodes it's unclear we'll see how the two first pilot episodes do and we'll see what kind of material the developers add I may be interested in adding a third pilot episode or something like that or even make it an official series. We'll see. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.